Uh, greetings today from Sky Captain Aerial Imaging. It's going to be a short video about um, LiPo batteries and what we are now using to preheat our LiPo batteries be before, we, before we fly. Um, LiPo batteries, as we know, um, don't like to operate within cold conditions uh, in the UK. Um, you know, we our temperatures are, are quite cold all, all year round, and they're not brilliant. Um, if you take, for example, DJI um, as a good example off their website, they recommend their their batteries, similar to these, should be pre-warmed between 22 and 28 degrees before flying, and that's what they recommend. Um, a lot of these now are smart batteries, so this is a smart battery. If you trying to use this below those temperatures, it's going to give you a warning like you can see on the screen here to my right. And it's quite embarrassing when you're with clients ready to take off and then suddenly you get this warning, battery's too cold, cannot take off. And you're then going to take the batteries out, warm them up, put them back in and, and it's quite embarrassing really. Um, more and more smart batteries are coming in, uh, like this one, this is what we use, that's off the Inspire 1, as you know, you can see, this is off the Inspire 2, these are now uh, much smarter, they have a pre-warming system built in, so that's now pre-warming itself up um, before takeoff, which is fantastic, and I love the idea, but this is drawing current, this is drawing power from the battery, so you're reducing the amount of flight time you've got. Um, and it may only be two or three or four or five minutes, but uh, by doing that, you're losing that extra flight time. And those extra minutes might be all that you need to get home safely, get home back safely. Just turn that off. So there's other options. There's also um, non-smart batteries like these. We fly these on the Sky Jib, which you can see to my left. We fly a pair of these. So these are non-smart batteries. So these don't know what temperature it is until you turn it on. Um, and we normally get 13 minutes of flight time using the 80-20 rule, 80% use your battery, 20% is your reserve fuel tank power, so we don't go down less than 20%. So um, if we pre-warm these up to um, sort of 25 degrees, we get a 13 minute flight time with these, 80% safely. If we uh, don't pre-warm these up and we're starting from a cold temperature, we can lose a couple of minutes of flight time with these, um, which is bringing our flight times down to not much more than 10 minutes per flight, which is not really good. Not really good. So the, the options, we've got different options, we've been doing it. One is to um, use hand warmers, so simple hand warmers, open the packet, they look like this. Put one on one side of the battery, one on the other side of the battery, put a rubber band around it, and um, there you go, you, you're warming your battery up and you can leave that then um, uh, in the back of your vehicle or whatever on your pocket to warm up. We've done that, we've used that before, and it sort of does work to a certain degree, um, unless you run out of hand warmers. The other uh, option that we have used is um, a good old water bottle. So, water bottle. Um, put it into maybe a, a spare a flight bag you've got or we use a laptop case, a spare laptop case that we've got. So, you know, put the batteries in there uh, and that will keep them warm. However, we get about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes of, of heat from one of these. Um, and if we've got a long distance to drive as well, then it's going to be cooler. So it's, it's not brilliant, uh, but we, we have tried it, we have tested it. Um, and we've got some, you know, it's not brilliant really. Um, so what we've done, we've got in touch with a guy who in the UK, and his link is going to be at the bottom, and he's made us one of these. And this is a flight case, um, which is, which we keep our batteries in, and it plugs into the car auxiliary socket, like the cigarette lighter. And you can control the temperature um, um, to plus or minus one degree, and it is really brilliant. It looks professional. Um, I am so impressed with this. As I said, I gave him the measurements of what we needed, the batteries and everything, and what he's done with this. He has, um, you know, he's, he's cut out compartments inside it so that our batteries can be spaced out. Heating pads in the bottom, um, and 
all this does is that's your auxiliary socket and that plugs into the back of there that plugs into the auxiliary socket you can control the temperature on here and it's amazing we, we plug this in and we drive to a site uh, and when we get there our batteries are at a nice temperature with uh, the vehicle that we've got um, we don't even need to put the ignition fully on and the auxiliary socket works so the engine can be off but the auxiliary socket is still working so it's keeping the batteries warm the other good thing about this which we found is that um, if we are down if we are away from the vehicle for a while we want to keep the batteries warm we simply just plug in a lipo battery so the lipo battery plugs in quite simple we put a little um, low battery warning indicator on it if i can plug that in like so see there you go so that cell to that's protecting the cells to gives me a warning about mm, 3.2 volts per cell minimum um so we've now got um a temperature of 21.1 degrees so that will keep this topped up and warm for quite a long time so if we're away from the vehicle um, we just plug one of these batteries in and we know that when we're ready to fly these batteries are all up to temperature which is absolutely brilliant um, it's a lovely piece of kit so you'll be able to see some shots of that as we plug it into the vehicle um, and uh, I am so impressed with this I don't think there's anything else on the market like it that I've seen um, and we hope that this has been um, educational, interesting and it helps you keep flying safer. So that's all for us from Sky Captain Aerial Imaging and uh, any comments please put any comments below uh, we'd like to hear your comments because that would be interesting and um, thank you very much for watching bye for now.